Welcome to A Taste of Azeroth. I'm Lindsay and this is Cam. We are mates and we both love to cook and eat. But Azeroth is a harsh world, but it has some amazing lore and some exciting cooking ideas. So join us as we travel across Azeroth and discuss the lore and myths of WoW and try to recreate the recipes we find. Forest of Elwyn is a vast woodland of stately hardwoods nestled in the foothills of the surrounding mountains. Elwyn is a gorgeous span of fertile land and thick forests. The weather is sunny and cheerful during the day and silent and peaceful at night. Bordering the human kingdom of Stormwind, it is home to many farmers, loggers and miners who relish in the tranquiline peace that is kept by the roaming guards of the city. There is much to see and do in Elwyn, with festivals popping up around the year based on the planting calendar, as well as a few interesting structures like Northshire Abbey and the Tower of Azora. Welcome to the first episode of Taste of Azeroth. My name's Lindsay and this is Cam. So we're mates, both love to cook and love to eat. So we also like games, so we thought we'd explore the wonderful world of Azeroth and cook some of the many recipes that are available. So we're in Elwyn Forest, starting area of many humans. And you've not done much alliance, have you, Cam? No, I've only mocked around dancing naked in Gulch a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, lion's pride in this big in here. When it first started, it was basically a house of debauchery. In the upstairs rooms and down in the basement, there was just naked characters everywhere. That sounds like a lot of fun. So, there's a couple of weird things in Elwyn Forest which I thought we'd check out. There's a lot of players now, due to the new expansion pack. Um, so the first one is, there's a tower up here called the Tower of Azora. Now, um, keep your eye out for wolves along the way because we need some wolf meat. But um, yeah, there's not much known about who Azora is or why they have towers, why, why he has a tower, or she. But um, yeah, uh, there's something cool that happens when we get there. So I presume since we're killing wolves, then that's the first thing on the menu, is that right? Yep. That's the first thing I'm going to make you. I'm going to make you some... Um, actually, what's the actual recipe called? First thing is charred wolf meat. Not charred wolf meat. Yep, not super A complicated. Staple of any human's diet. Yep. So, um, of course, we actually can't use wolf in real life. Well, we probably could, but I don't know. Can you eat wolves? No, I mean you probably couldn't. I mean it's you probably. You could eat them. Uh, it would not is it be legal, legal in any yeah. country. <laughs> well, I mean China eats dogs. Not that I'd ever want to do yeah, that. Yeah, and I think especially with Game of Thrones and everything, you know, people love yeah. wolves these days. Especially but yeah, wolves. wolves are pretty cool. I don't think I could eat one. Um, but so we're going to be substituting um, wolves with um, with dogs. No, with with the wolves of the outback, <laughs> kangaroos. Oh, dingoes! Oh, <laughs> kangaroos. Well, because <laughs> I think uh, killing like dingoes would be quite illegal as well. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be up for that either. But no, I'm just like there's no no kangaroos in WoW, so any recipe that requires wolf meat, we're going to do with kangaroo in the future. Okay. All right. So this is the Tower of Zora Camp. Um, yeah, it looks me. quite a nice tower. I think yeah. I'll, I'll make it my home. Now, you got these servants. I don't think any of them even talk to you. Hey. Greetings! Greetings! And there's some creepy bones and potions, including some weird sort of humanoid skulls here. But what makes this tower interesting is if we go upstairs. There's this orb over here. 
Oh, no, Being sought, our friend. A guy. Um, now, if you click on this orb, it shows you this other tower, which is um, in Red Ridge Mountains, which is nearby. And it's just constantly watching this tower for some weird reason. So, yeah, as far as I can find in the lore, there is nothing about the Tower of Azora. There's no mention of a person named Azora. And all the other tower, which is a weird name as well. Um, I will insert it here with my magical editing powers. But yeah, there's no mention of them, no mention of what they are. No famous mages that I know of. So, it's one of the few mysteries I think probably not yet revealed from the WoW vanilla, vanilla days. So, what do you think of that, Cam? I think exciting this is pretty cool town. There's even a raptor skull on the table. Yeah. I just noticed as well, this lady here sells stuff. Well met. Scrolls and mana potions. Uh -huh. Be careful. Yeah. <clears throat> let's find, in the traditional cooking way, let's find somewhere nice to um, light a fire and cook us some grub. What kind of view appeals to you, young camera or young human? I think, um, I don't know, maybe on top of this log. Yeah. I got short legs, that's unfair. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you made it. So. Let's get to cooking. <laughs> Here we've got our lovely stringy wolfie and we're just going to oil it and then season it with salt and pepper. That's what the recipe says chuck it on the barbie but we're gonna you know at least season it properly. Just rub it all in. Yeah boy rub it in. <laughs> And then once that's all rubbed in, we got our barbecue here, all nice and hot. And you just chuck it on. And then you leave it for five minutes. And then flip it over. Easy as pie. So that's the traditional way. Do you want to do it the better way? The Heston Blumenthal way. Has some blooming Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to wash my hands. <laughs> so, the traditional way is just to put the ones, but what you get is all the juice rises to the top and then you lose it all out the top. The Heston Blumenthal way, the probably what I'll call the proper way, is you flip it every 15 seconds. So, as the juice is rising up, you don't actually let it get all the way to the top, you trap it in the middle. So every 15 seconds you're basically flipping it and the juice rises up maybe halfway, flip it again, rises up maybe halfway, it gets trapped in the middle. So you never lose the juice out the top. Mm -hmm. Is that going to give us our char though? It's a good char on it. Because it is charred wolf meat we're trying to make, so good char is what we're after. So you can flip it straight away. I think you just you flip it before the, the juice do, comes to the top, so as long as you don't get the juice coming out of the top, then it should be right. Well, let's, let's, let's do one each, right? Okay, yeah. And see All which right, one we'll compare it. Okay. Yeah. Good, good gets us the more desired yeah, we'll desired marks.
Chart on the outside and nice pink on the inside. Piece of that in there, okay. Let's see. Can I show you the way I'd do it? <laughs> Alright, yeah, take your camera. <laughs> 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 How do I stop it? Uh, you just press the down button. 